So then take a look at the V4 ratcheting crimper. So we got some gloves. Oh, that's nice. They actually gave us a nice collection of heat shrink. We got our crimp, we got two crimpers. Oh, cool. So this is a wire stripper. And this is a very nice one too. So you can see we've got a couple of crimpers here on the bottom and it says we got options for insulated as well as non-insulated. So you can put the wire right in there, crimp that down. And then for the non-insulated ones, you can go in one of those slots and crimp those down. So we got a lot of options there, but the really cool thing about this is this stripping mechanism. Use the cutter. So we got a little bumper right here. So if you want to set a stop, so if you want to strip a bunch of wires, and you want the lengths to all be the same, we can just bump the wire up against it. And then we can make sure that everything is stripped the exact same. And then we got a tensioning knob. So if you've got really thick insulation, you're gonna need this to grip real tight. And then if you got thin insulation, you won't be ripping the insulation as well as the wire. So you would set that with that dial. But let's just see what we got from the default. So we can see this jaw comes down first. So that is going to grab the rear. And then this is gonna come down, grab the front. So that just skinned, let's go ahead and tighten that down a little bit. There we go. So very nice tool to have. And then this is the dedicated crimper. Nice. I really love these things just because the ratio that you get from squeezing here and the amount of pressure that you get over here is just unmatched. And you can hear the mechanism. Like, you know you're getting a good crimp with that. So we can see this is designed for insulated connections. You have the gauges they work on right here. So this is a 22 to 16. We got a 16 to 14 and a 12 to 10. So the thickest wire goes over here, but we can also see that they are color coded. So let's grab a piece of heat shrink. A nice variety of options. So first we want to twist the wire. I'll drop our heat shrink on. And we're going to use a red ring terminal. I'm going to slip that on and we want to make sure the wire pokes out the end just a little bit. Now since we're using red, we want to use the red slot on the crimper. And there we go. So that is a solid connection. Then we can take our heat shrink. You can see this is quite a bit of heat shrink, so I could have just cut this in half and then used this on two different wires, but we'll just see what it looks like with both of them on. And there we go. That is one nicely insulated crimp. So yeah, overall, that is a very nice kit.